Now that our game is all set up, the last part of this project is to make sure the user can't enter invalid words. We're going to implement this as four small methods, each of which perform exactly one check. Is the word original? It hasn't been used already. Is the word possible? They aren't trying to spell car from silkworm. And is the word real? It's an actual English word. If you're paying attention, you'll have noticed that was only three methods. That's because our fourth method will be there to make showing error messages easier. Anyway, let's start with the first method. This will accept a string as its only parameter and return true or false depending on whether the word's been used before or not. We already have a used words array, so we can pass the word into its contains method and send the result back like this. Funk is original, word, string, returns bool. Not used words, dot contains word. And that's one method down. The next one is slightly trickier. How can we check whether a random word can be made out of the letters from another random word? There are a couple of ways we could tackle this, but the easiest one is this. If we create a variable copy of the root word, we can then loop over each letter of the user's input word to see if that letter exists in our copy. If it does, we remove it from the copy so it can't be used twice, then continue. If we make it to the end of the user's word successfully, then the word is good. Otherwise, there's a mistake and we return false. So here's our second method. Funk is possible, word string, returns bool. Var temp word equals root word dot lowercase. For letter in word, if let pause equals temp word dot first index of letter, temp word dot remove at pause, else return false. And finally, return true. The final method is harder because we need to use UI text checker from UIKit. In order to safely bridge strings from Swift to Objective-C, we need to create an instance of NS range using the UTF-16 count of our Swift string. This is not nice, I know, but I'm afraid it's unavoidable until Apple cleans up these APIs. So our last method will make an instance of UI text checker, which is responsible for scanning strings for misspelled words. We'll then create an NS range to scan the entire length of our string, then call range of misspelled word on our text checker so it looks for wrong words. When that finishes, we'll get back another NS range telling us where the misspelled word was found. But if the word was okay, the location for that range will be the special value NS not found. So here's our final method. Funk is real word string returns bool. Let checker equals UI text checker. Let range equals NS range location zero length word.utf16.count. Let misspell range equals checker dot range of misspelled word in word range range starting at zero wrap false language en. Then return misspelled range dot location is equal to ns not found. Before we can use those three, I want to add some code to make showing error alerts easier. First, we need three properties to control our alerts. At state private var error title equals empty string. At state, private var error message equals empty string. And at state, private var showing error equals false. Now we can add a method that sets a title and message based on the parameters it receives, then flips the showing error boolean to true. Funk word error, title string, message string. Error title equals title. Error message equals message. Showing error equals true. We can then pass those directly onto SwiftUI by adding an alert modifier below on appear. Dot alert is presented dollar showing error. Alert title text error title message text error message dismiss button dot default text OK. We've done that several times now, so hopefully it's becoming second nature. At long last, it's time to finish our game. Replace the extra validation to come comment in add new word with this. Guard is original, word, answer, else, word error, title, word used already. Message, be more original, and return. Guard is possible, word, answer. 
else, word error, title, word not recognized, message, you can't just make them up, you know, and return. And guard, is real, word answer, else, word error, title, word not possible, message, that isn't a real word, and return. If you're on the app now, you should find that it will refuse to let you use words if they fail our tests. Trying a duplicate word won't work. Words that can't be spelled from the root word won't work. And gibberish words won't work either. That's another app done. Good job.